moment to thank you for allowing me back into your homes. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your oil paints and paint along with us each week. Let's go over to the canvas here and let's get started. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. Start out by believing here. You can... Hello everybody. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to Colony Survival. Survival. Okay, just making sure that's working. So, after the unfortunate demise of our, um, oxy sorry, of the, uh, something cesspool? I already forgot the name. Uh, the cesspool of despair? I don't know. Uh, we, I decided, you know what, Colony Survival, it's a semi-similar game uh, that I haven't played for quite a while and I figured, you know what, why the hell not give it a go um, oh god flat world, no um so we're gonna set a normal amount uh, we're not gonna do any like high stakes thing or anything uh, we'll leave world seed, we need a name, we're gonna call it the whole in the ground I cannot space I can't space hole in the ground uh, motel there we go and we're gonna do sure that's a good seed so for those of you that have no clue whatsoever what this game is Basically, okay, oh, no, what, no, I, that is not what I wanted. <clears throat> uh, don't show again. <laughs> so, my F1 key is real weird. Oh, and my sensitivity is, oof. I need to, uh, wow. Why is that so high? Like, there is no reason at all for that to be... There we go. I mean, that's better. So, for those of you that don't know, this is sort of like a Minecraft-style looking game. Um, the only difference is you are trying to automate everything. Um, and um, you have colonists. You try to get them to automate digging, building, doing a lot of stuff. Ooh. This is actually a pretty nice area that I spawned in. Um... So that's going to be, you know, making food, making weapons, items, all that sorts of stuff. And the, um, the goal is basically to not have to do anything, but have them do their own thing. Let them survive. They will try to keep them from dying from zombies. Um, so yeah. So we're just gonna, I don't know how long today's stream is going to be, but we are going to give it a go. Very bush. That'll be nice. Get to me some berries. <clears throat> so I need to. I need to find some water. Um, and when I said it's a lot like like Minecraft stylized, I mean it. It's just that things have a bit more texture to them. They actually update the texture, so they have this weird like edge. Um. So I need to find some water, <clears throat> because at one point or another, they are going to um, be able to fish, and they'll need water for other resources. Oh, there we go. This is perfect. Um, so ba uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to build a kingdom on the beach, because that'll still give me access to everything, and then I can always expand up against this. Um, so yeah, so let me try to remember how to even play this game. So, make a bunch of those, and we're just gonna, you know, I feel like 
I feel like this game is super quiet. Like, or, like, new music. Give me a second. Um. Here we go. <coughs> <coughs> this is... <laughs> this is supposed to be copyright free <laughs> medieval style music. So, we're gonna go for it. Um, so... Alright, oh! No, sorry, so sorry. I need to plant down my flag. Uh, colleague's name... Um, run for your life. Oh, there we go. Bam. Okay, so like in this case, um, I want to actually move over this way a little bit more. Like I want to keep some of that. Uh, delete colony. Ah. Uh, See, I really wish I could actually... Damn it. Ah! Damn it. My life is a constant struggle. Also, hopefully this music isn't too loud. Um, is this better? The... You know what? That's fine. Because I can always adjust it in the future. Um... So yeah, that is fine. Plus, we'll fill that in eventually with other stuff, and yeah. So for now, that's good. We will... I need to see... Uh, so we'll build this starting here. So one, two, three, four, five, six... There, I guess it's 50, so I'll just go off that. So let's say build a... 22... By 22... Uh, wall because I mean we're not really in that big of a threat area like starting off just because you know we don't really have any uh, colonists or anything it is already getting dark that I do not like though <laughs> You know, I just realized I'm incredibly stupid. I said 22 by 22, and I just built that against the uh, wall. You know, actually, that'd be fine if I do this smartly. So that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Hello, dragon. Welcome back. I've decided to go, ironically, to another um, Colony Survival game after the other one ended so horribly. <laughs> but this one I'm actually halfway good at, so we're going to go for it and see what happens. Okay, so let me just get this set up. Because the nice part is you really do not need to have a um, big, like you don't need a big wall. As long as there just isn't any access points, you're fine. Um, but if you have a single access point, the zom zombies, when they eventually start um, coming out, will definitely mess you up. Because they can get in and they travel on like a single path for their pathing, which turns out to not to be not be very good for my health. So yeah. But we're gonna set up a little trick here. I just gonna gather up some sand. Because though, they use that um <clears throat> they have that like very set AI pathing. You can actually cheat them a little bit. And force them all down onto one path, giving them sort of like a, um, like a tower defense style sort of um, feel to it. Which is actually really nice. 
because otherwise I would be dead right away. Also, I just realized I should not make I should not have made this twenty two. Uh, you know what? Uh, no, that's gonna bug me. Oh, why have I done this? I need to expand it out one more. <clears throat> ah, yeah. So, like I said, um, with oxygen, oxygen on. Also, is my stuff up on here? Yeah, hopefully it's working. Um, but with oxygen not included, um, just because I played that for so long in like a short period of time, I just, I need to give a small break and then I will gladly come back to it. Um, but this one is more focused on the automation aspect, which I, um, the Yogg's cast, I don't know if you're familiar with who they are. They actually did a few playthroughs of this, which is how I found out about this game in the first place. Um, but I really, really do enjoy this game. And I believe it's only an alpha as well. So. It, it's just a fun game. Yep. Um, uh, essentially. Yeah, give me one sec here. I just need to get my flag moved in. Um, I can uh, maybe get the center real quick. So that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I really just, you know what? I'll fix that later. That's good here. There we go. That's good enough. <clears throat> but so it's similar. Um, <clears throat> I mean, there's definitely a lot more to worry about. You have to worry about food and stuff. Um, on top of that, uh, there's zombies that will attack you instead of uh, aliens. And you're not really like, you're not really trying to escape. You're just more of trying to survive. Which that in of itself can give quite a bit pretty decent challenge to this, honestly. Um, let me just... Ah. Oh! They changed the water physics very greatly. Ah, no! It's not what I want. There we go. That works. <clears throat> Also, there is apparently no music in this game yet, so hopefully what I have playing isn't too terribly loud. If it is, just let me know and I'll turn it down a bit. Uh, let me boop, boop, boop. Put a sand in here. And there we go. So we have a basic setup. Um, I just want to make sure that we have a single path there. And then now... Um, is, oh. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I haven't really played a lot of Factorio. Like, I've given it a try, but I, which I mean, I love it from what I've played. But I haven't gotten, like, super, super in-depth to it. Depth to it. Oh my god, how deep is this? This one's gonna suck to build. Oh my god. Why? Does Santa physics? No, it doesn't. Good. Oh, so I did one, two, three, four, five out from there. So one, two, three, four, five. Nope. <clears throat> yeah. The water physics are real funky. And I don't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna... Well, I have the chance. I'm going to set up a... 
So I'm gonna need, we'll say three beds for now. Um, I need a, at least one crate. Take some torches. I uh, don't really need a science lab. Do I not have a crafting table? Take. Do I not have an inventory slot there? Uh, hopefully that'll be good. For now. Okay. So boop boop boop. Set those down. I will set a thing right beside that, and we'll just put a crate on the other end. Uh, it's also been a hot minute since I've played this. <clears throat> so yeah, so with this, I mean, it does require resources to spawn people. So you can see in the top right, um, I do actually need to... Uh, give me one second. I hope that pauses it. Uh, just flip my camera around here so you can actually see everything. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, one sec. I almost got. There we go. So, it's very sort of, it's like small and hidden, but in the top right, I've got the, like, total calories, calories used per day, then it tells me your ammo, and then I've got the name, how many beds I have, how many colonists, unemployed, and happiness. So right now I have negative one unemployed, which basically is meaning I need somebody to run this table. So if I hop in here, I recruit, I just recruit three people and bam. So we have somebody who's gonna run this. We've got two guys who aren't doing anything right now. Um, so I need to, if I pop into my command tool, go berry farmer. I can say, hey, I want you to, I mean, not arable, not arable, uh, is because I don't have any grass, probably, uh, do I have any dirt, Does or logs, I need to get some dirt, that's going to be a problem otherwise, uh, maybe setting up on the beach was not a bright idea. <laughs> Let me just gather like 21 dirt for now, should be plenty. So I don't really need a lot, a lot. Ow. But I definitely need something. Okay, let me just get this replaced real quick. Hi, friend. How can you like move, please? I. All right. You know what? Good enough. Uh, okay. So now, as long. There we go. <clears throat> oh, there we go. So one of these guys, this dude, he's gonna be a berry farmer. So he's just gonna farm berries from right there, and then I'm gonna set up this other dude. Uh, he is going to be a nighttime slinger guard. So he is, his only job is at night to sit up here and kill any zombies that will eventually try to make their way across here. Oh, why is it this way? I just gotta get this set up because if I don't, you know what? That's good enough for now. Because I have to get something set up, otherwise, problems. Okay. So there. So when zombies spawn, they will literally <clears throat> just walk across this. They will head around that path, which will prevent them. Oh, these torches. I forgot how bright these were. Um, so then this dude would just shoot them as they walk by, which will hopefully protect us uh, which more likely than not I will have to help him out um, but right now he's just gonna do him 
I need to also figure out what the space is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten from there. So we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So okay, so that's good there. Oh nope. So what I'm sorry, I what are these I realize I searched non-copyright music, but come on. There we go. That's a bit more like it. Um, so zombies will always come from whatever point of access they have. <coughs> um, which you can see... There's that dude? No. May not be late enough yet. So zombies will come from any point of access they have. So in this case, they will purely just go along this. Um, whereas, say, if I put a block down right here, they would just come over here, they travel around to that and down. Uh, they have a very specific, like, AI when it comes to that. So whereas I have this, it allows me to have more guards around, which I'm going to replace some of these blocks with wood so the sand doesn't blind me. Because I should not have built it out of sand. Um, yeah, so they're just very specific, and if you block anything, or if they don't have access, they are able to, I don't know if it's break down walls, or just, oh no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Oh, did he, something spawn? How? They can get in somehow. Like this. So they could get in from there, because I, that's something that I had missed. So I should probably... Okay, this one looks good. So now... <laughs> now they should come from there. And not completely screw me over. Hopefully. Which... Maybe? Game? Don't make me look stupid here. Like, I halfway know what I'm doing. I swear. Um, but then if they do not have any access point, uh, you go into what's called siege mode, which is basically your colonists will use up many, many, many more resources, or many, much more food, which ends up, in the long run, killing, like, all your dupes. Come, come on. I'm just trying <sighs> Bro, where are you going? Not supposed to go in that way. You guys have a path right here. Where are you going? Oh, you know what? They can probably actually. Uh, mm, I don't like that. There we go. So this dude. Let's see if I need to back. So these guys are gonna basically try to come up here, but because now they have ups. Where are they going? What are you guys doing? You have no access to up here. Hello. What are you doing? Oh. There we go. So they were trying... I think it's because I was breaking this. They were trying to... Um, yeah, luckily. <laughs> because that... I mean, that wouldn't have been too detrimental. Because, you know, I've still got a lot of food. But it definitely would have been bad. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I should... Mm, I should probably have a slinger on myself at all times just to be on the safe side. Uh, where did they come from? Oh. That would explain it. There we go. So I'll just break that up. Which, I mean, right now it's more or less trial and error. Um, just because there's going to be a lot of access points that, you know, oh, I don't know about. <clears throat> and where problems are going to come. But, I will deal with that as time comes. Now, my other concern here, I certainly need to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's good. And I need to make sure this other way is 11. <clears throat> 
and 11. Okay, yeah. So we are good. This is a symmetrical building. And then this dude, when the remaining zombies die, he will just end up going to bed until nighttime again. <clears throat> yes, because the zombies are supposed to be the main threat. You can turn them off if you want, but then there's not really any point to it. Um, but yeah, because I'll see. I don't know if it'll do it right now or not, if I block that up. Because right now my calorie use per day is 3,000. Okay, thank god. I didn't know if it would be Minecraft logic or not. <clears throat> uh, so if it wants to throw me in the siege mode anyways. It oh, hello friend. But the next part is you don't have to completely rely on them. You can actually do it yourself and you can also upgrade to better weapons. I believe after this it I got scared from the corpse. <laughs> um, I believe it is bow and arrow, then crossbow, then guns. Uh, which they each equivalently do more damage for every... S Why am I holding this yet? That's... Uh, I gotta fix this. The symmetry is not... Mm, it's gonna bug me if I don't. Because it needs to be centered with this. Which... Oh, did I... I think I just destroyed his thing. Whoops. Point. There we go. Um, yeah, I'll just have to walk. Why did my thing just give the 6,000 guys? Uh, okay. Anyways. Okay, so I just need to take one off of this side and add one to this side. Then that'll fix it <clears throat> maybe I hope because yeah I I just want I just wanted to look right because if it's off it just bugs me I don't know like it's only this and like Minecraft that like it bug stuff bugs me like this uh, yes you can turn on zombies in the daytime um, that dude was just remaining over the night, so that's why the nighttime guard was still up there until I killed the last zombie, um, because they will just wait and chill until, wait, yeah, 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 um, they'll just wait and chill until all the zombies from the night are dead, usually, um, You'll want to set up at least a couple of daytime guards because they will also come out and just help clear up the remainder. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Do that. Then I just need to come along here. And this is like a super long bridge, but it is purely just to um, get prepared for the future because the more colonists that you have, the more zombies that start spawning. And it, it gets to become a mess um, once you probably hit the, I don't know, probably like the 100 mark. Things start to go real bad. Should I do one more? I can do one more. I'd rather have more time for my colonists to do their thing. Nope. So I'm just going to go through, dig a lot of the sand up, just so the zombies can't get a little bit of a boost or anything off of this. Uh, here. There we go. And that should be good. That'll allow my guards plenty of time. And I need to actually... means this base is actually centered. Um, set up a parameter. Um, because generally what I end up doing is I will have... So I'll have a main building in here, which is going to be... Oops, no, 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 no. Which is going to be... Like, this will eventually just build a big tower. 
it'll be my farm most of my farming plus any um crafting and anything going on like that and then outside we'll have berry farms and the like out here so i need to I don't remember which one of these it is that one okay so ooh, i need to, i need to take this down <laughs> So I need to, right now, just sort of take down part of this mountain so I can build a secure wall on it, hopefully. That'll have to be seen, but that is the plan. <clears throat> and I'm sorry about the like throat clearing and sniffling. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> hopefully that'll... Stop bugging me in a bit, but we have more important things to worry about with this. Ah, oh, yes, and you'll have people automatically um, mining as well, which there's different resources which you need for different crafting, which you have to dig further down and down and down for it. Which, again, we will get to that when I have... Uh, Pretty stable food source. I mean, even right now, I'm still gaining calories, which is good. Um, which I'm trying to remember. I believe it is, if it's white right now, I believe that means we're having a positive, like I'm getting a positive amount of calories in today, which is right now just the berries. If it's yellow, I believe it's <clears throat> just barely. Oh yeah, I mean, I very, okay, is my, I'm sorry, is my um, chat box not working? Let me, oh, this is the live one, so it should be, or, yeah, I'm probably just not paying attention, um, but I do, I would at the very least, like, out, even outside of me, like, check out the Yaw's Cast playthrough of this, like, they started like when it first came out so you sort of get the base idea of what's going on with everything um so i played enough that i have a assuming there wasn't a, any major updates a um good idea of what i'm doing but that remains to be seen hopefully it's right now i just want to get my farm set up so I don't have to worry about anything like that, hopefully. Okay. <clears throat> Which, real quick, means I'm semi-safe. I'm gonna get some extra... Oh, that's not my one. Get some extra ammo in there for the night guard. See if... So yeah. Because the, thing, the only concerning thing right now is the... Um, that the zombies have to cross the river <laughs> to be able to see them so or for them to get over to that from this side so there could be a ton in there right now and i'd have no clue which is part of the reason why you need to make sure you have plenty of guards i mean eventually i will expand this out or the base will expand out enough where i will literally just um take over the river and we'll just have everything, like, have water inside to be able to do what I need to do. But that day is not today. Today is me trying not to die. Yes, um... Uh, that dude, I think, was just over there. I'll see if I can pop down and see any... Which, like I said, right now there really is not a lot of, um... Zombies, because I've got three guys. But once I get a bit more... Once I get the walls secure, and we have the... Um, and we have more berry farms, I am going to start getting a lot more guys. Which could, in the future, lead to problems. But, yeah. That's, that's another time. Um, I need to see... Oh, man, that goes out a lot further than I thought. Hello, friend. 
And the zombies will attack you as well. Um, like this dude, I'm guessing, is probably going to come for me at some point. I cannot see. Ugh. Uh, you coming for me? Nope, he's, yep. Like right there, this dude just sunk in. Oh, and you, oh, phew, that's not good. How's he? There we go, that better. <clears throat> <coughs> like I said, any pathing that they can take to get the shortest route is what they will take. No matter what. Um, so that's why you need to have those sort of long bridges without any um, way of them getting up. And do I need to dig deeper for this? Yes. Yes. Quite a bit dig deeper. So let me... Ooh. There we go. I'm gonna say, this playlist is a lot more... I mean, it's Kevin McLeod, so that... Isn't this the guy that made, like, all the, um, like, old school, like, 2010 videos? Um, yep, so in this case, so what I'm doing right now, just digging up the, uh, rocks and crud, or the stone. <coughs> this will delete any of these resources. Same with any ores or anything that you get. Um, it will automatically delete the resources. Now, if I were to get a miner over here, and just set them on the rock itself. They will not, or the stone, they will not destroy the stone. They will instead have a infinite supply, which then you have crafters making ammo for your guys, which still don't have set up, but I probably need to, once I get this, yeah. Mainly right now, I'm just trying to get a wall set up so I can get a base like design. But trust me, as soon as I get that, everything is just going to, like, expand massively. Because I'll end up putting tons of berry, berry farms down, hiring lots of guys to work on those. We will massively profit in terms of, uh, food, which means in turn I can hire more people to do more jobs. Just making everything a lot better. Um... Yeah, like with this, I'm just gonna. Because that really isn't something I need to clear, clear right now. I do need to make sure this area right on the outside of it, they can't climb up because that will cause problems. Because yeah. So. Yeah, which the other disadvantage um, about, in this case, this is why I will be building Massive Tower. If, say, I put a berry farm out here, and I did not have a uh, just hole in there for the guys to get out, they would have to travel across that entire thing, make their way through the river over to here, just to do their, their job every day, and then make the trek back every day as well to sleep. Or get food. If I didn't have a crate over there, they'd have to travel all the way back there just to put stuff away. So you definitely have to be careful with everything that you're doing. Yes. Um, because this is just purely so I can, um, like, get areas cleared. Um. Alright. Uh, sorry. The beat of this like song just threw me off for a second spellbound um but yes so um villager or colonists will always get infinite resources if they're mining or berry farming or the only thing they really don't get infinite resources on is for um ba -ba -ba. sorry having a brain fart uh trees because you can have guys grow trees for you giving you just infinite wood that I should uh, I'm just gonna build out I shouldn't but I'm gonna um, yes they will the only thing that you do not get infinite resources on is trees 
but they will always have a renewable source of trees either way. Uh, how are we looking? Oh, need to come back a bit. Go. And oh, that pretty much just ruins my entire uh, little bridge thing there. Which is fine. That's something I'll deal with once we get this built. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, because I think technically... Never mind, I don't have any. I was going to say, if I had some saplings, um, like I myself could actually plant some down and get that going. Um, that was... I don't. I can't do that. So right now, we will just have to harvest any trees that I can uh, for wood, which I'm probably going to need some more here soon. So I just hello, because I don't have a lot. Also, I hope this shouldn't give them easier access. I hope. Ugh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to get this area walled off like as soon as possible. And there we go. Got a bit more. I can make some planks. Plus then eventually I will end up swapping this out for, um, okay, yes, that is working. For some stone. Um, could you say place the stone that you mined inside of your base? And um, so in this case, no, because the stone turns into stone bricks automatically. Um, so you can't do that. But whereas you have to, um, like I said, there's several different ores, um, in the game. So for that, I don't know, I'm doing that up. Um, one would have to end up digging down either way to find those because I think the deepest ones are pretty decent ways down so you'd have to have that set or have a hole for them to get down which you can set up beds and food and everything for them there um, and then they can just go ahead and set guys up just sort of off on the sides in the same area like even as the ores and have them do that so which I mean like for as simple, like, looking as the game as this is, like, they have a lot put into it. Which, I mean, I guess technically you could sort of say the same with, like, Factorio with the, uh, pixelized art style. Like, there's a lot to it. And that's the other thing, too. Certain height limits, um, so you can't really see a height limit on this, but... If I were to, say, build, say that, nope, I don't know how high it is, not there either. But once you hit a certain height limit as well, um, you are in the red zone, which the red zone is where zombies can spawn, which is why I'm just building my wall on the very edge of this, so the red just touches it, the zombies cannot spawn on these then, and they'll all spawn, they can spawn on the very outside, but again, they'll have to make their way all the way around. Which keeps my guys safe, gives me a lot more room, eventually, but we'll deal with that when we get to that. And, yeah. Because once I get this too high wall, and I work out the bugs, we will start replacing the sand with grass. And then from that grass, we'll get more berry farmers. From berry farmers will get more food, which will let me get more colonists, which will let me get more jobs, more resources. Um, and there, that is another thing. Um, so there's science, which is basically the um, <clears throat> equivalent of the research in Factorio. It's literally, so like this, I can increase my banner radius, I just need 50 colonists, then I can complete it, increase it. Bronze Anvil, need those things, and somebody researching it, flax farming, water gathering. And there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's eventually in here... Yeah, you can make a colony starter kit. Which will allow you to head off into... Like, wherever you want and you just start a colony on the fly. Uh, let's see how deep this is. So, I mean, that will probably be my end goal. <clears throat> is just to get everything researched. Um, and then maybe... If I'm not bored of it by then, 
Um, which we'll see because I don't know when they actually updated this last, so there might be a lot of new resources in here. Um, but then we may start another one. Because there are actually different biomes in this game. Um, I would just... It'd be a matter of finding them for me. <coughs> Damn. Oh, hello, friend. So like I said, they will come for you if they are in range. So. And there's none... As far as there's none going over there, because technically they can just top on on this. So. I mean, I'm not complaining, because I don't want to overwhelm the one guard I have right now. Let's run this. Um, healing, so you can eat food, which I mean, it's not very efficient. Uh, let me sort of run over here just so I can make sure I don't get attacked. So you can eat food, which if I grab, we'll say two berries. So one berry heals me one or one or two each, depending on how my health is um, at the moment which better foods will heal you more easiest way if you're badly hurt that I've noticed is just the jump from a height and just kill yourself because I mean isn't for whatever reason there is no well not no penalty if you have stuff in your inventory you will lose that completely you cannot recover it but it is um you'll just spawn like right back on the banner and you're good. So eventually, once I get the tower built and it's a decent height, I'll probably be doing that a lot because I will be out here like this, clearing the area or building more area and I won't see like anything. Like, I, or rather, I won't see any zombies coming or anything, so it'll be... I'll get hurt a lot, is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> how big this mountain was when I started this. <laughs> Which again, the nice the nice thing about this, like I said, you can have um, people who actually will dig for you. So I could tell people like, hey, I want um, say like I want to replace the layer inside of the those walls with like dirt or something and say, hey, dig all that up. And then I can have builders who I can say, hey, I want you to build from back or from over there to over here with wood or stone or whatever. And they will replace that all with stone. Uh, the only thing with that is they do not, you can't unlock those for a little ways into the game or, or a decent ways into the game, I think, actually. So any building or digging or anything, I will have to do manually for a while. Which is fine, because researching can take a while if you don't have anything set up for that. But it's purely just a matter of time. I'm sorry this is taking so long, by the way. Like, <laughs> I, was, I think I need them to just not worry about the inside bit and just focus on the um, getting the edges here done. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, nope. Let me just keep going on this. Oh! <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> so there's a, um... Let's check this. So I'm in a D&D, &D, um, campaign. And uh, with some of my friends, and the so one of the places where we literally just arrived in it is a place called Boulder's Gate, and the song that just started playing is literally called Boulder's Gate. <laughs> Good job. And it's actually, ooh, I mean, I honestly really, really like this right here. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, like this is just some ore. Um, like, what even is this? 
Um, ten. So, like, this is ten, which is not very far down, but you do have to get down to these uh, harder rocks. So. Uh, is that a game? Give me one sec here. Is that a game? <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> I mean, a, yeah, I mean, it's spelled the same way. I assume, yeah, that looks sort of like a uh, Diablo or sort of like Greenscape esque sort of game. Yeah, it is. Um, yep, this one is legitimately Oblivion. <laughs> so much for this being, you know, copyright free, but whatever. I like this kind of music, so I'm fine with it. And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bam. Okay, <laughs> that is almost one layer. <laughs> And then I just have to go around and make sure that there aren't any places like this that they can get up easily. Yeah, this one, that, that the soundtrack that's playing right now is like a hour and 18 compilation of just various medieval music. So I'm fine with it. Okay, so... That should be fine here. Because I won't be able to get on that. This is on the inside of the wall. So that's fine. Just need to make sure they can't actually climb down onto the wall. Or get under the wall. Mm. Yeah, that, you know, that could be a problem with them just climbing under the wall there. The Larian Studios is coming out with a third one soon. Find a venue too. Oh. I mean, hell, if there's a third one coming out, I may have to look into that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, like, when I started actually streaming more, I was doing mostly RuneScape. <laughs> Which I need the, I need to get back into that again. Because so I got up to, I think, like, level 30, 40 something. And I started playing um, Uncharted 4 and stuff like that. Well, Uncharted 4, Oxygen Not Included. Um, this now, obviously. But, so I stopped playing that. So I need, to, I need to get back into that. I don't even know what that is. Um... Okay, and this is cut off, so that is all safe, assuming it doesn't go over the height limit. Which it does not. Cool. <clears throat> Let me... Hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully I got enough wood for this. <clears throat> I mean, I will admit, like, the new stuff, since their, like, third reboot, um, has not been nearly as good. I didn't really play the original, original RuneScape. Second one is mainly what I played, which, when I was little, I, like, really, really enjoyed that. I would, when my friends and I would go to the public library in my hometown, and we would, uh... Because they had, like, a little computer lab thing in there. And we just play it for a few hours and, yeah, just chill out. Those were the days. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, once you get, like, to a certain, like, in-depth, like, quest or level-wise, like, you just want to keep playing because you find something you enjoy, whether it's... Um, done, or exploring, um, I mean, they have, like, a farming feature now, smithing, mining, uh, just 
I mean, really, there's about... There's just so many things you can do in that game now. Okay, and I am going to have to get some more wood. This is going to cause problems otherwise. Okay, so... That should be good. There won't be any guys spawning in here. They can't get over the wall from what I can see. Let me double check over here real quick. Uh, yep, that would have been a problem. <clears throat> okay, so... Next thing's next, I need to... Which, because I've got so much sand, I'm just going to use that. Oops. Come on. Guess you can show quick. Um, so I just need to work on filling in this area at this point. Because we fill in this area, make sure the zombies can't actually get up. And then we can put, actually, no, I should be doing this not with sand, but with grass. Just so I can start, um getting some actual stuff could put in here. Um, yeah, it, I can almost guarantee it does. I just need to, uh, <laughs> again, beginning is trial and error. So right now while I'm placing this down, I just have to watch, make sure the, um, because I mean, no matter what, either way, they have to go by the guard. Um, so if I don't see any guys walking on this like little path here, uh, we have a problem. Now, if they're still walking on that path, we're good. Like, not a single thing to worry about at that point. I need to be careful with what I'm doing here. Because otherwise, I just give them a way up. Or way in easier. So hopefully, things will be fine. Okay, cool. Ooh. Ah. Because, yeah, now that, like, I've started placing blocks here, uh, there's probably some of them whose pathing has gone up to this. So I need to just make sure that they can't really get up easy. I'm trying... See... Oh, yep. See? There we go. That's the problem. So, our calorie count just went up to 63k because zombies can't get in. There we go. Oh, nope. There we go. There we go. Oh. See? That's what I mean. That would have killed me in a matter of days. Um, but Divinity 2. Um, I was trying to think of what that was. Uh... Um, I don't think I ever did. Is that a... I assume that's a more recent game. Um, 2017? Yeah. Um, that is not something I... Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> um, that's not something that I personally have played. Um, definitely does look like something I'd be into, though. So that's probably another one I need to check out then. Just want to get this all placed around here real quick. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I so bad at placing these blocks? And I'm... Hello? Hello? No! <laughs> Yeah, there uh, there might be a couple flaws in here right now, <laughs> and I'm out of dirt or out of grass. Sure, 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 sure. Um, you know, you know, could you thank you. I am gonna just add another dude here, real quick. Uh, boop and recruit one. Excuse me? Why didn't that? 
Oh, no. Ah. I don't have enough for beds. beds. So that's the other thing, too. You have to have beds in order to get more people. So if you don't have enough beds, you're out of luck. There we go. Um, so that should be... Why is... Thank you. There we go. Now I can just go gather dirt from the... Or grass from these and not have to worry. Means we'll have two guards up there now. They'll take care of everything. And then as soon as I make sure that area is at least 90% secure, I can go ahead and... Um, yeah, I think... I, I, I thought I just saw a zombie that was coming towards there. So there's that. Um, once that's clear, I can make my way in there. I can do things, good things, hopefully. <clears throat> uh, do oh. Ah, yes. O Octopath Traveler. That's what's playing right now. Um, so I have that for the Switch. That is a another game that I really need to play. Because I, I mean, I've heard super good reviews from it. And I, that's another game I should... Once I'm done either with this series or if I want to do just sort of like an on-off thing with this and another game, I should play that, finally. Or eh, I might buy it for like PlayStation. Just so that way I can get trophies and cred for it. Okay. A bit more dirt or grass, whatever. You guys doing good in there? I hope. Berry farmers farming. Cool. Let's see. I don't know. I like. <clears throat> like this is why I like just listening to some random like um just music on YouTube because you'll find stuff like this which like I personally I figured the music in Octopath Traveler would be more of a um, more of a uh, like um, bit tune sort of thing but no like I this is another one that I really like out of this <laughs> it's just calm peaceful this is the sort of music I need when I'm building in this game okay so um, now that I have that I don't really have any big areas besides here um, but I will get another berry farmer place him uh, I think. Oh, no 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 All right, how's your size of that you are the exact size. So, yes, we'll just do that for now. I'll need to build another bed, but that will let me get... Uh, guards? Uh, problem. <laughs> and again, that's why you need to have some daytime guards, because once in a while they will leave them behind. But if you play through some time during the story, so it's not... Yeah, which, I mean, I feel like you could say that about any game, really. Um, like, take, um, take, say, we'll say The Legend of Zelda, like, any Zelda game. Like, we'll take Ocarina of Time. It means that's, you know, one of the more, like, super popular ones. Um, like, if you played it over again and again and again, and didn't, like, have any time between it, like, you're gonna get bored of it. So, which then, if you say, um, whereas if you say, leave a, you take like gaps in between playing it. So, let's say you wait like three years, five years between like each playthrough, like you're still gonna enjoy. It. I mean, it will sort of wear down on you eventually if you're, you know, remembering everything about it. But it, it'll still be. You'll have more joy playing it than you would if you just play it again and again and again. Okay, so I don't have a lot of dirt. <coughs> I 
Okay, well... Let me just keep doing my thing here. Uh, do I have another... Do I have enough room for another one? Uh, because that'd be awesome. Okay, well, I need one more piece of grass. <clears throat> Boop. And the reason why I am oh, leaving a one gap between these guys, if I can place them, is because I want to build a... Which I have enough one. I want to take just a single crate, and I want to put it right there. Um, because when I get these guys here... If I did not have a crate, they would have to travel all the way back over to that one to put it away, or the banner. Um, whereas with this, they can literally just put it in right there, making... Because there's also travel time, so you gotta be careful with that. Nice. Uh, I mean, I'll definitely have to give that a check, or a look as well. There's... A lot of the games that came out in the past few years, I missed a lot of them. Um... Which is sad to say, really, in my opinion, but yeah. Okay, so let me colony, recruitment, fill all jobs, or fill all beds even, we'll do that. Okay, so now I've got one unemployed dude. So he's literally just going to chill there. He's still going to use resources, but he's just going to chill for now. So for him, I will probably go ahead finish digging this up and get a mine put over here for him um just that way we can get some stone or actually no i need a crafter yet what do i need yeah, i need a scientist too so i need copper parts um boink workbench there we go so this dude will actually be my crafter which will Plunk him down here. So then he should have a job for that. So with this, he'll literally just have everything set up to a certain point. So like I'll tell him I want to have 10 beds. I always want to have 10 crates. I uh, will say two furnaces. Let's have a hundred. Nope. Okay. Well, 100, 200, 200 of each plank. Uh, we'll have 60 arrows. Uh, yeah, this is still Oblivion. Because it's just going through a lot of different stuff. Like, there's, I can see a Skyrim. Like, just sort of another Oblivion. Oblivion. Skyrim. There's just a lot of different, another Oblivion. Another Oblivion. And then ends with another Skyrim. So there's... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, this is a couple of those. And if you make cluster bricks, make 20 of them, I guess. Okay. So all that dude is going to end up doing is just making me some... Uh, different various resources in crud. Which I'm going to go ahead real quick and just sort of... Actually, I'm trying to think of how I have this set up. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to get farmers. I'm... Uh. So, the way I had this set up before is basically... I don't know, I had... How do I have this? Every living and got very high level characters about 21 times. <laughs> Jeez. I, mean, I say geez, I've done pretty much the same with Skyrim. Obli like, Oblivion I like. My only problem with it is the controls are sort of wonky. Um, which I mean there might honestly be a mod just to fix that. 
Okay, but how did I have this set up before? So these all go out 11 from each spot here. Which then, this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which means this one should be the corner. Not that. Mm. Okay. So if this is supposed to be. Alright. Alright. I might be being stupid here. Let me get this place down and then I'll figure that out. Because there's a very specific way that you can set up your colony. Um, it's for this tower design. We're going to start off with... Oh no, I did do it in a 4x4 in the next one. That would be a 16x16. 16 16. Um, 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 um... How? What? Oh. Don't like that. There we go. Um, I'm just trying to think. Because, so I'll make this into a 4x4 area. The first level up above the main area is going to be farming. And then I'll be farming basically the entire ways up until we need like more room for more beds. And then eventually we'll expand this out to be a 16 by 16 area, which will be, you know, more room for beds and more farms. Um, yeah. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, yep, there. See, here's Skyrim. This one I really recognize. Let me just get rid of this dude's berries. So that's 10 from there. From here, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I literally, looks like I just expanded it out one too many for my plan, which is an easy enough fix. In fact, it, I think I, yeah, it looks like I just expanded it out one too far on the, uh, Yeah, so I expanded out just one too far on the outer layer, then. Or the top and bottom layer, whatever. Let's get these guys' beds plunked back down. There we go. Easy enough fix. You starting because I didn't miss on some of the jam? Or... Oh, I know. <clears throat> I had those problems a lot in my. mainly my first playthrough. Um. Because of Skyrim, because once you got to, I'm not sure what are, what level it is, but it's when you start getting a whole bunch of uh, Draugr that can um, like shout, and there's the guys that have the disarm shout. Basically, just having them constantly, like I'd have a really good weapon that I made, and then they would just come up, or I'd have one for my follower. Then the dudes would just come up do one shout and it would just be gone forever it'd be in like a dark crypt where i couldn't find it afterwards it was not fun times to put it simply Oop. okay uh um i really need to set up a daytime guard like i i cannot be having that because yeah here we go so this is what i mean also, they apparently really changed the guards because they used to actually stay. Which, I mean, I'm glad that they did. That's actually gonna require that I do, do more with it then. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Bam! Okay. Let me just get this going, then I'll set up a... In fact, actually, I can just set up a dude right now. Just plunk them there. I need to remove these two guys. Set up them over here and here. Take down this portion of the wall. Um, yeah. 
that'll look better. <clears throat> That is looking better. We got a couple guys farming berries right now. Luckily, oh yeah, you're the daytime dude. Okay. So this is area, or this marking is literally just going to be to help out with the, um, <clears throat> I don't need that right there. Just to help out with the um, whole, the, or the whole planning thing. Just because, in fact, I may actually have to, oh yeah, I'm probably going to have to expand the walls out um, when I go to make stairs, <coughs> but that's fine, that's not going to be for a little while, is I need to, um, uh, sorry, um, because, so with this, is they all have their sort of like little boards. So what I want to do is I want to put a border on the outside as well. These, these will be 10 by 10 plots. Um, which, so then the walls here will just have a layer of stone bricks there. And then I will need to have stairs, then an outer wall. But we're going to worry about that once we actually have farms and can make use of that, which is going to be a hot minute here. But that's fine. We'll do a little bit of uh, sort of decorating, make it look a bit better. You're just standing in the banners, dude. You do you. In fact, uh, I need to go gather some more. Oh, no, 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 no. My caps lock. Need to go <clears throat> gather some more. Oh my god. Gather some more grass. And then, then I can deal with that, because I just want to get the, the reason why I use grass on the outside, I mean, there, you don't need to use grass for the berry farmers, it's purely just for aesthetic for me, um, because you could use dirt like I was using for that dude, um, but I want it to look nice, when it comes to the farmers, they will, they will only have dirt, um, Just because, uh, even if you put grass down for the farmers, they end up essentially tilling the land that it's on, and then the grass just becomes dirt either way. Which, I mean, I have plenty of dirt. I have to dig up a lot more dirt for the stuff up here, so. <coughs> so that's perfectly fine. But, I mean, really, though, for what I've got done so far in R18... Probably not the best, but part, part of that's due to the fact that I built, you know, halfway in a river. But that, as soon as we get that filled up, that won't even be a problem anymore. Um, so unfortunately in this game, you cannot. Uh, once I get later in, I can make a, um, you want the colonists a minter, which he'll just make different, like, copper gold coins I can use those coins to trade in for um like I can literally buy grass blocks um I don't think yeah I can't see it on there um, I don't even have that unlocked or anything um let's refinery forge We've got mitts and shops so then I'll be able to make yeah minter and merchant um, they'll be the guys that'll be able to buy me grass, and then at that point I can select different, um, <clears throat> I'll be able to select, like, different colors and stuff. So, like, I'll probably go for more of a greener, like, dark green grass instead of this stuff. But right now, because that's so far out, I'm just gonna gather this up, make the outside area here <laughs> look this torrid. And then we will, oops, then we'll deal with that when it comes to it. Yeah, which I mean, 
again, like I said, this is an alpha, so they don't have a lot of stuff ready to go. Or a lot of stuff. That's, that's not what I want to say. They don't have a lot of quality of life stuff in here. They have a lot of comment or content, definitely. They just don't have the sort of like the polish. There we go. They don't have the polish to it. That Nintendo polish. There we go. Because now I can turn all of that into purely um turn this stuff all into farming land <coughs> so yeah No, I grabbed more dirt than I thought, but I am not complaining because the more area I have for farms, the better. Which, I mean, I'm going to need a lot of area because eventually you can unlock things like, um, obviously trees like I s or foresters. Um, right now we only have berries, we have to get like bees and chickens and stuff like that in the future. Fishermen. There's all sorts of things. Okay, so berry farmer boys. Hello friend. Hopefully you can't get too far over here. For now, um actually you know, let me because I'm gonna want to get rid of that. Well get rid of that section of the like protection bridge and then oh the skirt is so dark I can't even see. <laughs> um I wanna get rid of that section and add a, um, I'll build more outside and then we'll move the guards actually out to that other end of the gate, which is honestly what I should have done, but we'll deal with that here before it's terribly long. <clears throat> <clears throat> and back to another Oblivion game. Oh, hello, friends. I don't know why you're spawning all the way over there, but all right. So be it. Uh, but I want to get rid of that entire bridge, which I'll just replace it with more grass so we have more room. Um, I'll need to get some placements for the guards. Extend, or put the, uh, little maze thing on the outside. Which will protect us a little bit. Well, eh, I wouldn't so much say better, but in a way. So yeah, this, uh, you know, maybe I should wait until day, <laughs> just because that might cause some problems for me. But that's fine, in the meantime, I can just keep doing my thing here. By all means, my dude, you have a good morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you. If you get bored, I'm probably going to be here for a little while yet, just because I need to get this mainly set up, but yeah, you have a good one. And thank you for hopping in and chatting for a bit. Let me put a creep there. And boop. Put that there. And yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh duh. Hello, Zombo. After. Ah, no. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh, I still need a bit more. <coughs> I 
right, with that is slowly coming into shape. So we need to get this going. I should not have built <laughs> against the mountains because I'm gonna have to eventually knock these down when I expand my colony. I've made mistakes in this playthrough already, <laughs> but I'm sticking with them. I wouldn't be me if I didn't, so. game I think that would be real fun that I've been I watched a bit of is uh Minecraft Dungeons. Um is I watched on Tuesday this week, so yesterday. Or two days ago technically now for me. I ended up uh watching Markiplier's playthrough or partial playthrough with Bob and Wade and that truth be told looked really fun. So I may, I probably won't do a live stream of it. Um, um Zombo, are you good? <laughs> um, I will probably more likely than not get a couple friends and do a um, and do a like YouTube let's play of it because it looks real fun. Uh, truth be told, I did not think it would be that good. I figured it'd be. <laughs> Sort of like the Minecraft, um, was it the Telltale series, whatever it was called? That mess. I figured it'd be like that, and I am so glad it isn't, because it actually looks super duper good. Hello, Zombo. Daytime guard's up, so you can do you. Just don't attack me, okay, bud? Thanks. And you are coming straight for me. Cool. That is what I wanted, my dude. Ooh, Jesus. The sound of him shooting him scared me. Oh. My voice went all funky. Here we are. Let's get some extra wood out of this. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, you to you. Uh, do do do. Yeah. I just need to get this dug up, go dig up a bit more grass. Then I can go ahead, fill this up all the way. And get my farms going. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Uh, because I'll probably get it going on this side and just sort of set them up. And then I will probably call it good for today. Because I don't want to play this game just constant like I did with um, Oxygen Not Included and get completely worn out. But, and this is one of those games where you can, um, you can just play and play and play, and you're not going to get tired of it. Because, I mean, it's, it's like Minecraft. It's just peaceful, it's relaxing, it's just calming. And I like those kinds of games. You don't have to stress over anything. You don't have to get mad because some... Um, kid is camping somewhere, or somebody stole your kill, or someone's lacking or anything in your team, you don't, it's not a problem. <clears throat> Just, and then any problem that happens, like, because I'm playing on my own, is purely going to be for me, so I can't even get mad at anyone but my own stupidity. Like, this area is going to be if I don't, <laughs> if I don't get that, 
uh, protection bridge built. I need to go do that. <laughs> Otherwise, bad things await me. That's plenty of dirt for now. Hello, you. Wait, was that the daytime guard? <laughs> or is that a nighttime guard just walking around now? <laughs> there we go. Where is the daytime guard? Oh, he's over there. Um, okay, so... Let me get working on this. Just because this is going to be a very important thing for me to have set up. As in, like, life ending or saving if I do or do not have it. Uh, let me blink a few more plinks. Boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back around. And we're purely just gonna do something like this. To, um. I'm gonna try to keep it made out of wood. Just because then it'll be easier to tell where it is and everything. And. Yeah, because I just don't really wanna deal with that mess. I just realized a lot of this is going to get flooded with water. You know what? So be it. Go. Oh, I all but have that perfect. Okay. So let me get this top layer dug up real quick. Then we'll keep working with this other stuff. Uh, can zombies make it here? Clearly they can at some point in that. Or something. Or no, they can make it here obviously because they can travel around and they can currently just hop onto this. Okay. That's fine, until I actually get a good thing set up. Uh, which... a bit more buggy than it was before so I'm not entirely for sure what they did with it I don't know if it's just more of a uh, sort of location thing and this should be plenty big for the time being hi They can mess with me. <laughs> yeah, come get me, bruh. Oh, yeah. Need to uh, take care of this layer, too. Otherwise, they're just going to keep going. <laughs> yeah, um... When I do say, by all means, check this game out. Um, and I am serious about checking out the Yogg's Castle's playthrough. 
um, because they are the guys that I originally watched when I found out about the game. So, I mean, their, their playthroughs are really good, and it's not just one person going at it. I believe they actually do quite a few live streams on this, if they're still doing those currently. Oop, there we go. Right here, that is good. Down here, nope. There we go. That's that layer, and down here. Oh, hey, bud. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh, go. Go, go, go. Kill what? This layer? This layer. Yep, yep, that's good. Where are you going, pal? You shouldn't have any access, right? Right, guys? You're not, you have to go around now, right? I hope. You shouldn't have a... Yes, okay, cool. Let me guard, daytime guard. Um, yeah, for now, you know, we don't need massive things set up, so. There we go. It'd be cool if you guys would stay, but I know you're not going to be that nice, so I guess I'll just deal with this on my own for now, Ooh. which might be a problem. Luckily, they're just easy zombies, so I don't really have to worry about death. doing over there dude I can just see the berry farmers like head just bobbing up and down <laughs> okay you know I know we have oh, this is just... hello excuse me oh damn it they became berry farmers oh you jerks uh, what do we need for that I need copper. Okay. So that's fine. Let me get at least one nighttime guard up. Um, at least then that way we're not completely screwed. Um, boom. Boom. Uh, let me go get that mine set up. Um, just because if I don't have the mine... That's gonna... playing this um also you oh crafty boy that's who you are um make sure there's a thousand and i will give you your own crate my good sir so you don't have to go around all the time okay so i need to get this mine set up because we are completely out of copper and without copper that means that we are going to run into some big old problems because we can no longer make any nails to make beds or anything which means I am currently down to my eight colonists that I have now on the other hand this will be good because I can get a bunch of um, extra food going but I definitely 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 need to get some copper I just like how this song that's playing right now from uh, Stronghold 2 or whatever game that is um, it's just called Castle Jam that's all <laughs> so you know so doo -doo -doo. because I'm going to put the mine over here because I don't need to do anything like fancy fancy with it. I just more need to have a uh, just some sort of a system so things aren't horrible. I 
don't know what Stronghold 2 is, but... This is a castle jam. It is a castle jam. That's all I can really say about it. Ah, uh, I just read this off to make one of my um, berry farmers into a miner once I get some copper found. Which is perfectly fine. Like, I have no problem doing that. Just mark some of that will need to be done. Which I'm almost done clearing this pot. <clears throat> Make it a five wide uh, hole. We'll just build a little wooden thing around it. There we go. And now I dig. Because the other thing is to is that I do have to have some sort of a staircase for them to get down. Oh, damn it, I should not have mined. Literally, if I would not have mined that tin, or is this iron? I don't remember what that is. That's either copper or iron, and I cannot remember which. So, yeah. Which I might actually have to get rid of it now either way. So do that. We're literally just going to keep going down one by one for now. Um, of course. Well, I, this will always tell me. This is, okay, so the red is copper. It's good to actually confirm it. See if I have to pick it up. I dig that one piece of tin. If I didn't dig it, I could have literally set up two miners and we would have been good. Ah. There's clay? I really don't remember. Ah, yes. So I'm gonna boop that. I'm gonna boop that. We'll sort of clear out just this little area here above them. And sort of round a little bit too. Give it more of a open sort of feel. I mean, I don't have the... Uh, I don't need to like protect them or anything in here. Because where they are is a protected area. So that is good. I just wanted to make it actually feel open. Damn it. here too. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one and this one. We'll place another stair there and another stair here. Okay. So let me not caps lock. Put that stuff away. Let me grab one crate. Uh, we will put that here. And then I will go minor. I want to do there. I want to do there. And we're going to put a dude for stone. What? What? <laughs> that, 
No. That. <laughs> uh. Minor. <clears throat> Do I need to have a little bit more room? Or. Can they not dig? Oh, you know what? That might actually be why they may not be able to dig this. Yeah, that's why. Which is fine. I'll just plunk him there. Okay. So. I need. We're gonna need to get rid of you. And you. And one more dude right now. Which we'll be able to put them back as soon as I get more beds. Which is perfectly fine. How you doing up here, pal? You, uh, having fun? Not a lot of zombies by the looks of it. Which is nice. Um, I'm gonna give you... Uh, we don't have a lot of wood. Anyways. I'm gonna give you... A, your own little sort of, uh... Excuse me. Are they... Can they get up there? Is that a thing that I just heard? Because I... So I, for one, do not like that. Okay, and boop, 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 boop. Boop. There we go. Okay, so let me guard, nighttime guard. So I'm gonna put one dude over here and I'm gonna put the other dude over here. Which means one of you are probably gonna disappear, yep. And I will actually put the um, guard, daytime guard. Uh, we actually, yeah, we'll leave Two daytime cards eventually set up here. Um, that should be good for the time being. I don't really know. Um, but I do need to actually set up a forester as well. Otherwise, we're going to have problems with trees. Hello, friend. Uh, let's do a 3 by 30 I believe, is what I was doing before. So do a 3x30 right there, which is... Uh, actually, you know what? No, do it one over, please. So 3x30 like that. I will work on finishing out more of this for now. There we go. Just so I can get some more... Uh, Get another forester put in here because I'm gonna need quite a few for what I'm doing, and I want to try to get this area here filled filled up a little bit more. Hello, berry farmer Bob. How you doing, bud? Boop 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 boop. boop. Should have enough, I hope, just to fill up this area. I think it might be real close. I think I have enough. Ah, never mind. We're good. Perfect. There we go. So that's looking much better. Let me get another thing plunked down like that. How are we doing? <coughs> <coughs> we have all the uh, farming boys that we need. I hear him going. We got two of you at least, which those are more of the important two. Um, so copper nails was the main thing. Then there we go, six more beds. So that will allow me to actually, if I have the room, put down two more uh, berry farms. Here's a little boop, 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 boop. There we go. Let me colony. 
Recruitment to fill all beds, which means we have two extra things. Uh, let me... Food, berry farmer. I want to... I gotta get rid of these, otherwise it won't work how it's supposed to. Put another one... Right there. And I'd like to put one more... Right there. And there we go. And would I be able to put one more here and fit it? I could... No. Yes. No. No. Because we're doing, what, 3 by 21 blocks total? So I could if that weren't there, but they do need their walkways, so... 3 on each end right now is perfectly fine. Let me get a couple more crates here. Put one down there for you, put one down there for you. We got foresters working, which... Dude, those aren't even... <laughs> like, those two are good, but... So you can do one less than your... So you could do an eight white area then, yeah? That's what I'm to understand, that you can do an eight white area. Because I can, I can work with that. Let me... boop. What do you mean that's too small? So I, you're telling me I'd have to go... Alright, because... So doing that is not the right size, even though it should be. Um, no, I was... I know I was doing 30. Ah! I'm stupid. That's why it looks so wrong. There we go. Uh, you get, get out of here. Grow your trees here in a second. I just need to. I know this isn't very efficient, but this will just have to be for now. So we've got berry boys, we've got guards, who, if I can make, make some of these, get a bit of stone. I can make them a more proper staircase. Four high wall? Three high wall? I think that'd be fine for now. Let's do this and then I just hop down there for the time being. That's fine. And boop, boop, boop. There we go. Just give them a bit of a better looking idea or thing. And I'm actually gonna leave that open because I don't want anybody to be able to walk between. This water is so bright. I don't know why. <clears throat> I know, I would say this is probably a decent area to leave off right now. Um, just because, I mean, we're, we've got a lot of stuff set up. I need to, actually, you know what? Might not hurt to, Bronze Anvil would be nice. To get him, I need another bed, and then... You know, dude, you're not doing a real good... Not really... <laughs> not doing a real good job at crafting. Like, anything that we need. Uh, boop. There we go. <coughs> there we go. What do you mean? Well, of course... Of course we'd... How would we have copper bars? <laughs> um... <laughs> How... Okay. So you're missing bronze in ingots, right? How about... That? You need berries, copper nails. There you go, bud. I, I, I don't know what you were expecting me to do about the copper bars because we can't really make copper bars until we have furnaces. So, uh, yeah. Why don't you go ahead, you do that, and I will work towards getting you copper bars for that, okay? Sound good? There you go, thank you. 
Bam. So that's for the tailor. Let's go ahead and let's get... Let's use planks, copper nails, copper parts. Which is copper nails. There's a few copper parts. And you need planks, which, I mean, there are planks in there, but we don't have a whole lot of wood. So I will hop over and cut down a couple trees for you, pal. Means our um, thing isn't going to be, our foresters won't be real fast right now. Until they get a lighter area that they can do their thing in. And there you go. That, when it turns day again, should be enough for him to do his thing. I would hope. We just have to see, though. But otherwise, that's not looking bad. And we've got our two nighttime guys, we've got a couple daytime guys. So we should be good. So I think I'll go ahead and call it good here for this episode. So uh, thank you everybody so much for joining me. Uh, thank you Dragon Breath, even though you're not in here right now. But thank you for joining and chatting with me for a bit. <clears throat> um, once again, check out this game. Um, it's not a lot of money, if I remember right. And it's really fun. I've put a lot of hours into it. Um, in fact, I can ooh, get my steam here real quick, and we can actually take a look, take a look, see here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I have played 71 hours of this so far, so currently only about half of what I've played on Oxygen not included, but also look at how many hours I just put into Oxygen not included over this past week. Uh, but when we come back to this in the next stream, we will go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and get this area finished up. We'll get more grass on it. We'll hopefully take down part of that mountain at the very least. Uh, sort of get our building ready to go. Get sort of a wall set up. Um, because those guys are already doing real good. Um, and then we need to get better berries, better farming in general, more, better foresters, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, as always everybody, you can check out my links for my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in the description below. And in the next video or stream, we will be back to this, do all that. Um, yeah. And make sure to also check out my stream library on YouTube, which will be... Uh, if you're watching, well, I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, obviously you're on my stream library. <laughs> um, otherwise, if you're watching this on Twitch, that is not currently down there, but I will actually get that set up exactly after this. Just so I actually have a link down there for that one. But anyways, everybody, you have a good day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. Because we will be back to this probably tomorrow. So have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a good one.